that last time I popped it. Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP, you know? So, You're a so. fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know, what did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! This whoa, whoa, matter. what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor, Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Oh, welcome back, guys, to another episode of GTA. Hope you guys are doing good today. Last time we left off, Trevor has planned the. Um, Whoa, Trevor has planned sort of a little takeover of a ship. We're going to nick some more stuff. It's a heist, so we're going to get some more money. And uh, now we're just doing a mission for the agency, or Big Dave, as we like to call him. Big Dave, mm -hmm. let's see it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your... After you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection... Hey! And he'd unearth wow. this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, he heads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway... Any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm... Whoa, look at no more car accidents. He knows huh. I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how, how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary, or... Or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, and we went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt... Don't! <laughs> Counts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. 
Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. What the fuck is going on? And wrong house. This guy is an our guy. Okay, okay, okay. So, you sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get, Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? <laughs> Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address for Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No! Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, huh, please. Look at me, please. Um This is an important part of the great democratic experience. Let's go big. You, you can't! No, 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 no! It's so the breaker! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? Wow. Did you get that to hear him? Lives in Chumash. The Western Highway. <laughs> Shumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> Brandon Roberts, dude. I know, trippy, right? It's like a regular dude. Brandon himself. Who the fuck is talking? Oh, the dude on the phone. Whoa, what happened there? Why are we stopped? Apologies for that. No idea what happened there. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest, and we don't. And we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? She's dead. I need some resolution, Davy. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah. Well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem. Trevor's your problem, Dave. As much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. What? We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. There we go. I don't really want to know what's going on, to be honest. Sounds like someone's masked up our desk. Brad it was buried in our place. So. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him up. No, please. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the wrench again. The anticipation is always worse. Really? Oh, oh. I got brittle bones. Watch <laughs> the knee. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Mm -hmm. Come on. Average height? Middle aged? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle aged, middle height, middle oh, build, gosh, whatever. He's dark. So okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. <laughs> that enough for you? Well, no. You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. 
We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. This one? You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Push back to Trevor. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, 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 let me think. I. Ah! Oh. Sorry, too oh. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. Oh. Okay. Yay! Let's go back with the wrench. It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, I'm bruised. Another one. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 please, no, 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 please, no, 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 he's got beer. Oh, he's got beer. He's got bushy beer. Uh huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah. I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Hmm. Might be a little bit easier. Give me some eyes. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific yeah. or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Oh, there. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long Let's mix it up. Let's get something else. He's a he's got beer. He smokes. Like he smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Chim maybe one more time. Just to be sure. Oh, please no. Uh -huh. I told you he, he smokes. That's all I know. There we go. As as he was picking them up. He hasn't advanced in the last hundred years. Still a bunch of sadomasochists. Just relax. Uh -huh. My team! They're all root. They just keep going down. It feels like you ripped my jaw out. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you look so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. I'm taking a shot of this after him. I'm still here. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Wow. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. There we go. In these beardy guys at the party smoke cigarettes. Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Redwood. <laughs> Dickhead. I'm pretty sure it's this dude. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes. Ah, that's his right hand. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest. So he's smoking, he's got, he hasn't got a beard there. That's a girl, I think. Ah. Ah, I see someone. He fits. What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've got him. It's done. Woo! That well, I'm pretty sure that was it. Excellent work, the pair of you. Now I got to. Oh well. 
Pretty sure that was him, but oh well. Oh, let's finish it off. That's a sport. <coughs> let's go. Come on. Wait a second, Mitsu. Fuck. Let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on. Up the fuck. Yeah. Do you wanna die or do you wanna live? <coughs> There we go. Good old Trevor. Oh. <laughs> Safety fast. No seatbelts, those. It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you going to hold it together? I want you to go home. I want you to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! Huh. You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary we needed to get information to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? Move. Everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that it's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to. Wow. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Departures. No one drives me to the, to the airport. <laughs> Good old Trevor. It's gonna throw him out. You can't get on a plane like that. Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Wow. Wow. <laughs> let's go. Fuck off. Wow. So guys, did it if you did enjoy, make sure to hit me up with a like and a comment. It is much appreciated. But until the next time, kill a kev here and get a kev out.